This is a two or three gallon fish tank that was used for a beta. It's made out of acrylic and it has a top. Um, has some holes in the top here for the different, uh, you know, feeding the fish and uh, for the, the aquarium filter, uh, some heater cords. This is in a, in a half moon shape. And what I'm going to do with this is turn it into an arboreal enclosure for an avicularia avicularia. And so uh, let me get started on that. Okay, drilling some ventilation holes. Here is the top of my acrylic half moon aquarium that I'm turning into an arboreal enclosure and I have drilled ventilation holes in it and next I'm going to go on to cut the pieces that will go over these two areas to secure them so that the tarantula cannot escape. Okay, I am now officially dripping with sweat. It is hot out here. Um, so here's my cutting um, bit for my Dremel. I'm using the Dremel 4000. And I've gone ahead and cut out the shapes that I need to cover those holes. But these are just basic. I'm going to do um, the cutting around them so that it's bigger. So that there will be a little bit of lip on there for the glue. a bit on here. I had to go and get a pair of pliers. This is for sanding it down a little. Okay, I do have this one little spot here that you know, it's very possible this is still a juvenile, might be able to slip out of there. So I'm going to go ahead and cover that. Um, what I'm going to do right now is just apply some glue to these pieces. Um, they're just going to go like this. They're just going to sit over there very easily. No big deal. Um, nothing fancy. Okay, so I am... Just going to set this piece on here and I'm going to do it this way because I'm not sure if the beveled edge is going to fit properly if I turn it down so I'm just going to leave it up. Now I'm going to go ahead and drill holes in my actual aquarium for ventilation and I'm not doing anything special with this. Um, I'm just going to start at a certain point and just Maybe I'll put them on the side, um, on the sides and kind of leave the, the front a little bit more open. 
Um, I think that would be the best way. So we have cross ventilation. So I'm going to start drilling on this side and up a little bit from the bottom so that there's enough room for some substrate. And I'm also going to put a lot of holes in the back so that we have even more cross ventilation. So I think that's uh, quite a bit of ventilation we've got. Holes all throughout on the sides. The only part that doesn't is right here. And there, and the top also has ventilation holes. Okay, here is my avicularia avicularia enclosure. It was very quick and easy to make. Not perfect, it's kind of sloppy. One thing you can see that I changed, I went ahead and did use this beveled edge. I turned it upside down. This is from um, this top right here. Uh, that is on one of the Hobby Lobby doll display cases. It has this this beveled edge and when I cut it out I turned it upside down so that because there was a little bit of a gap right there on the back and I wanted to, that to hang down a bit and cover and see it doesn't it doesn't Im impede on the way that the lid opens in any way. So there's ventilation all throughout here, throughout the back on both sides and the front is clean. That was um, very easy to make, very quick, and rather economical if you happen to have one of these um, lying around that you're no longer using for fish or you find one on Craigslist. Um, so there you have that, and the next thing I will do is go ahead and get the little one set up in here as soon as the glue dries. Um, and one other thing I want to mention is I made quite a mess out here uh, using my Dremel to cut this plastic so it's all over. And I mean there's lots of other animals, animals that live here, animals that are wild that come into the area, and I don't want anyone to ingest any of this, and so I'm going to sweep it all up. And I just think it's good practice to clean up after ourselves so that none of the other animals are harmed by what we are doing. I'm going to go ahead and put some of this false bottom into um, this arboreal enclosure. I have put um, a false bottom and some substrate. Okay, so I decided to use um, a house plant that I've had for many years in this, um, in this enclosure. And I found this piece of bamboo around the house. I'm gonna cut that up and use pieces in there. This is um, one of those pet store rescues, I guess you could say. This is the enclosure that the little one was in. And it's pretty common pet smart from what I hear to keep their arboreal tarantulas their avicularias in these critter keepers which is not adequate for them and I did overhear them saying as I walked away wow we sold the tarantula um, and I've been in there over the last few months and I mean this could very well be the same one that's been in there for quite a while they sprayed the container right before I left I don't know how they were caring for it but I do know that this is not the proper enclosure for them. I'm going to go and get the top that goes on this new enclosure and I will rehouse this little one into its new home. <laughs> 